Hi, ladies and gentlemen. We're here again at Nexus 2012, live with Deborah Berebiches. Deborah, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Chris. It's a pleasure to be here. Now, you've got a couple things I'd like to find out more about. Number one, first tell me about your TV show on National Geographic, Humanly Impossible. <laughs> so we filmed it a year ago, and Humanly Impossible is a show on National Geographic that takes place in uh, different locations where you, we have people that are incredible doing seemingly impossible feats. Like there's a guy jumping off of 30 feet into a shallow pool of water. There's a guy that eats light bulbs, and another one is an escape artist underwater, a woman that, through a Van der Graaff generator, has so much electricity that she herself conducts it and lights light bulbs. It's pretty crazy. And so we're the hosts, and we explain the physics of how these things can happen. Now, one of the other things that you told me about was that you're working very hard in terms of popularizing physics and science for young women. Can you tell me a little bit about what you're doing? Sure. So I grew up in Mexico City in a fairly conservative community that not really encourage girls to go into science or typically male-dominated fields. And because of that, uh, I, I had to hide my love for math and physics until after high school, I left home and I, I was able to uh, get a scholarship at Brandeis University and I pursued my career in, in, in physics. And after that, I, I did my PhD and, and there was a man that was instrumental in helping me transition from being uh, what people call normally an arts uh, person to being scientifically minded. This Indian man, Rupesh, gave, imparted all this mentoring and, and knowledge to me, and he said that the only way I could ever pay him back for his tutoring was if I did that with someone else in the world. So that's how my mission in life started. And what I do is I run a bunch of initiatives, whether and, and I collaborate with different organizations. So one is called Technovation Challenge, where we pair up girls with uh, very high-end uh, women mentors who teach them how to program uh, iPhone or an Android apps that are technical of nature. And then we do NPR. We do a lot of science fairs. We have one called Science Cabaret. Uh, I do a lot of uh, public speaking. and and mentoring of, of young girls. So I'm running a bunch of initiatives in parallel. Now, if people want to find out more about those initiatives and maybe even help out some, is yes. there a way to do that? Do you have a website or something? I do. My current website is called thesciencebabe.com. That's www.thesciencebabe.com. It will change quite quickly to Science with Debbie, but for now you can still visit it there and hopefully send me an email. I would love to collaborate with more people. We definitely need passionate uh, people who want to inspire and encourage more women and more people in general to do science. Well, Deborah, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you, Chris. Mm -hmm.